there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Sagittarius, for the week of May 15th. If you like this video, don't forget to hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons. Sagittarius, can't tell you how much I appreciate you. If you'd like a personal reading from me, all of that information is in the description box below. And this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Sagittarius anywhere in your chart. Or if you're just checking in on a Sagittarius, you're all welcome here. It just might not resonate with all of you. Sag, what's going on? Ooh, the blue moon. Believe in the impossible. Yeah. Some kind of miracle coming in. Some kind of answer. And you and your loved ones are safe. The new moon in Cancer. One of my favorite cards, Sagittarius. I love that card. Angels coming in to tell you how divinely protected you are. Love that. Let's see what kind of animal spirit guide is up in the ether for Sagittarius. Let's see. Sag, what's going on? What is going on? I hope you all are doing well. I saw the zebra wanted to come out. Tell me what's going on with Sagittarius. Tell me. Oh, the turtle. Look at this. Very slow moving energy, but gaining wisdom, gaining your balance here and adaptability uh, between the water, the cups, the emotions and the earth, the logical, the practical. Very interesting on the bottom of the deck. Oh my God, the black egg. Wow. Wow. Unrealized magical potential here, Sagittarius. So you're tapping into something very, very spiritual and you're, you're going deeper than you thought. You're, you're merging with those energies. Wow. I love this. I love this. Going deep, going deep. What kind of Zen tarot card? The dream. Oh my, look at this. You've been dreaming about this. You've been wanting this. This is a wish that you have and um, you're going for it. You're going for the impossible here. You're taking on some kind of challenge that feels impossible, but it's a dream of yours to accomplish. I love that. Oh, Sag, look how exhausting it is though. You've got to take a break. You've got to nurture yourself here. Take care of yourself here. Look at that. Let the dream unfold organically here, Sag. You can't push it into existence. It's got to happen organically here. Beautiful energy, though. I'm loving the adaptability here. I'm loving that you can just um, take on any challenge and you just kind of adapt to that energy there. So I'm loving that. All right. What are you thinking about right now? Tell me about what Sagittarius is thinking about. Judgment. Wow. Wow, calling out something from the past here. Something is awakened within you here. Has to do with this black egg and the uh, untapped magical potential here. Oh, it's like you found the right note. You found the right tune here. You're, you're uh, tuning in, fine tuning that dial here, Sag. I love that. What led up to this? What led up to this? The two of pentacles, that juggling of money and the seven of swords. Wow. Wow. Hmm. It's like something got woken up here. <laughs> something got woken up here and you realize that you were missing something here or um, you forgot something. There's something back there. There's something that you want to pull forward from the past, some person, some uh, place or thing or feeling. And it's like you forgot it. It's like you just realized it's almost home alone where you just realized, oh my God, I forgot I forgot my whatever. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Look at this. It has to do with the heart space and giving your heart out here. Uh, very nurturing. Very nurturing. You're thinking about somebody. You're you're um, wondering what they're doing, maybe, or wondering how that place is doing. Maybe you uh, are thinking back on an old workplace, but you are thinking back, thinking back, but you're feeling like you forgot something. What is that all about? What did Sagittarius forget? Tell me what that's about, spirit. The moon. Hmm. Pisces energy coming into the mix. 
it's like you're trying to remember a dream. You know how it slips away from us so quickly. It's so vivid and so real. And you're, you're feeling the feelings in that dream. And then you wake up and you just start trying to remember. It's like, what was that? What was that? And that's not the feeling I'm getting here. Like uh, a memory is popping up for you and you're just it's slipping away though. And you're like, wait, what was that? What was that? And you're trying to hold on to the, some kind of past feeling like it was a dream like it was a dream. It's like, was well, that just a dream? Did I dream that? <laughs> Maybe a childhood memory or something like this coming forward. Tell me what's in the heart space for Sagittarius. How is Sagittarius feeling right now, spirit? Tell me how Sag is feeling right now. The Empress. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Taurus. Libra energy coming into the mix. Very loyal, very loyal. And, uh, yeah, pregnant, pregnant. I'm just getting this feeling of pregnancy. Hmm, I'm wondering what this new birth is. What is this for Sagittarius? The Ten of Wands, wow. Putting down the burdens. Maybe you're just letting it go. Maybe you're like, oh, I'm going to forget it. It will come to me. It'll come to me if I just stop thinking about it. And maybe it will. Maybe it will. Maybe you do have to just stop feeling for that or thinking about that. And, um, Try to understand what the purpose of uh, was it, what the purpose was for you to remember in the first place. There's something there. There's something spiritual there that you're tapping into, some kind of lesson that happened uh, way back, way back, and it's just tickling at your brain. It's just right there in the peripheral, and you're trying to grab it back to get the feeling of it. King of Wands in the challenge position here. That's very, very interesting. Maybe you're feeling very restricted. It's like, I can't move on or I can't do that until I remember that. Or uh, there's just a feeling like you have to remember something. It's like you're doing some past life regression thing or, and you, you've pulled into this character that who you were and um, you're trying to remember the feeling or how it felt to, to be this way or how it felt to be in a certain situation or with someone or, but it keeps slipping from you. You can't quite grasp it. Why? Why? Why can't Sagittarius grasp this feeling spirit? Why is that? Six of Pentacles, reciprocity. Well, whatever it is, the situation is thinking about you as well. So there's reciprocity in the energy here. There's somebody maybe from your past who, you know, it is Mercury retrograde here for a few more days and we have the shadow time as well. So a lot of memories are coming back. A lot of feelings are coming back. It's like uh, when summer's over and you start seeing those back to school commercials when you're young and your stomach just falls and, and you're experiencing the feeling of how it feels for that first day even though it's not the first day. That's the feeling I'm getting here. That's what's happening is that uh, people, that group, that person, that situation is recalling you as well. There's reciprocal energy happening back and forth here. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. Blast from the past. Blast from the past. What else? What else in the heart space for Sagittarius? What else? The devil. <laughs> Capricorn energy, but look at that, the star, four of wands and ace of wands. Wow. It had to do with some kind of celebration or some kind of event and the ace of wands, something brand new starting something brand new. I think you get it. I think it's a eureka moment where, um, it all comes back to you, comes flooding back to you. I think with the star energy here. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe it wasn't such a great, uh, it wasn't so great after all. Maybe, maybe it wasn't so great after all. It's like you're remembering back to um, some event from your childhood that really has pushed you through the years, has sustained you. It's always a memory you can go back to, something you can think about here. And then that person came back or they showed up or they called or, um, and they're talking about it and it's a different story than what you had. And so it's kind of shattering that dream. It's kind of um, revealing the real, the truth of it, which we all have our versions of it. We all have our own personal truths here. So yeah, it's just different than what you thought. <laughs> different than what you thought. That's exactly right. 
<laughs> but some kind of celebration coming because of that. So there's something bigger and grander that you have coming into you, Sagittarius, that you're going to look back fondly on, that you're going to remember this time instead of that previous time where everything was a little bit distorted. <coughs> it's like when you go back, excuse me, to your childhood home and you're looking for those memories and feelings of the way it was, you know, the way we were for sure. And then you walk into that house like, oh my God, I don't remember it being this small. <laughs> You know, we distort everything when we're young. So this is a young, a childhood memory that is getting some truth shown on it. And that's a little shattering. Interesting. Interesting. What's this about? Tell me what this is about, Spirit. In the foundation. Let's see. Sagittarius' current foundation. Current foundation here. Justice. Wow. <coughs> More Libra energy. Oh, these allergies are kicking my butt, Sag. So, so sorry. Justice comes into the mix in the foundation. I can't believe it. This karmic justice is here. You were supposed to remember this at this time, Sagittarius, because it needed some karmic light shown onto it. It needed that other side shown to you, their perspective shown to you. Someone's coming in and they're telling you their version of that story. It's a little bit shattering, but it really evens the energy out. It shatters all of the illusions that you may have had or someone else may have had on their point of view there maybe they only saw one side of it and it's clarifying very very clarifying gives you some um re-energizing moments here because i think that memory has really maybe uh pushed you into some areas and restricted you from others here so now that you're releasing that now that you're getting clarity on that memory now that it's all balancing out for some reason at this time it's uh, very freeing for you. you. That's why you're celebrating this shift of energy here, because it's very freeing for you to let go of that dream, to let go of that. Um, it kind of feels like, oh, that was just a fairy tale, tale or, um, uh, you know, I thought it happened to me, but it happened in a movie I saw when I was two or something like this. Ooh, the emperor comes into the mix. You've got the empress in your heart space. And the emperor in the foundation, Aries energy, but the major arcana, this was a grand uh, revelation for you. This was something that was supposed to happen at this time for that story to come back into perspective and um, have the other side of something shown here. But the balance is incredible. I see the balance with the empress and the emperor here, the point counterpoint. And then you've got justice, the ultimate karmic balancer of all karmic justice is here. So how beautiful, how beautiful. What's the challenge in the foundation for Sagittarius? The five of pentacles, money is the challenge at this time. It just doesn't seem to be flowing in that reciprocal manner that you'd like it to. Maybe that's why you're thinking back or feeling back for a certain feeling that you had when you were younger, uh, when you felt more secure in money, when you felt more balanced in money. What's happening with money for Sagittarius in the foundation? Six of Swords. I love this. Sagittarius moving on, moving on from the struggle, letting it go, letting the struggle go and coming into an understanding that money is just energy. It's just energy. I think that's what you would have liked to take with you, though, because you're peeking back. You've got all your swords. You've got all your thoughts, all your understandings about things, but you're peeking back at some event, some memory. And um, maybe feeling like if you could just solve that, you could solve the money problem here. Wow, you're so close to it, though. How beautiful is that, that you're even peeking back at that? That's how it starts, right? To shift within us, to change within us. So, um, yeah. Wow. You're about to break into the vault. You're about to break into the memory vault here. It was vaulted. It was shut away. It wasn't thought about. The key was thrown away. And you found that key. You picked it up and you're, you're turning the lock right now. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, Geraldo Rivera when he goes to open, what was it, Capone's um, tomb. <laughs> but you're going to find a bank full of memories here. It's just these memories that are resurfacing for you is the gold because it's going to lead you out of any kind of poverty mentality. It's going to give you some kind of uh, uh, clarity on, on money. King of Swords. Wow, wow, wow. 
look at this. It's like you're staking your claim now. Now that you have clarity, now that you have the truth, now that you found the right uh, page to look back at, the right year, the right time, the right feeling, um, you've mastered it now. Now you have much more clarity in your mind. You have kind of more perspectives on it. So it's like you're talking to siblings, or you're talking to friends who were there, <coughs> excuse me, at some event. And a voice bringing so much clarity to your heart and soul here. It's the reciprocal energy now. It's the return to Sagittarius now because of the clarity, because of the revelation of that uh, memory. It really, really removes the swords of uh, that have been in your back, that have been holding you down, that have pinned you down, Sagittarius. And it has to do with money, some kind of poverty mentality, like maybe you're your um your parent or you know person who raised you uh was very strict about money was always in lack mentality was always in there's not enough and so that just kind of bled down and you're thinking back when did that start when did that start because you're looking for clarity you're looking for perspective on what was going on there and then all of a sudden you have this grand perspective come in where it really clears up what was going on there maybe that was their insecurities or their doubt or their whatever that was imposed on you and you're bursting through that you're clearing that away tell me about the people around Sagittarius very interesting I'm loving this revelation of yours this look back for clarity it's beautiful. Sagittarius, it's beautiful. Oh my God. And the world comes in. Oh, Sag, you're just moving into a brand new cycle when it comes to this. And especially when it comes to money, because look at it sitting on that two of pentacles there, the juggling of it. And something coming back from your past to close out, be done. Next chapter, next uh, book. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not even reading the sequel of this one. Done. I <laughs> love that. Ooh, I love that. What led up to this? Eight of Pentacles. You've taken on a lot of different careers. You're doing a lot of different things like gig work or um, just not more. You're, you definitely don't just have one job, one nine to five. You, you're very good at multitasking, taking care of a lot of things, a lot of people. And um, and with the five of swords, I'm still just feeling like somebody came in recently and um, put something in your ear, put a little bee in your bonnet, Sag, about um, something event that happened in the past. And I'm not sure where this dream comes in, but either you've dreamt about it or you have, you're feeling like it was a dream, but you're forgetting something. There's this minute detail in the past that you are forgetting and, or you have forgotten. So you have this one perspective of it. You have this one side of what happened, but there's a detail that surfaces maybe this week, maybe this month. There's a detail that surfaces that you didn't know, and it's that missing piece. It's that, oh my God, well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Puts this whole um, light on it, just shines this very light, a bright light on the situation and brings you a moment of pure clarity. It's like remembering the dream and the faces and the conversation, and you're like, oh, there it is, <laughs> pulling it out off the tip of your tongue, uh, off the tip of your brain. And it's just such a release and uh, gives you just so much clarity. I love this. I love this. Tell me about the heart space of others around Sagittarius. Tell me what people are feeling around Sagittarius. What's the general energy feel? Oh, and there's that Ten of Swords again. You had Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. They have Ten of Swords in their heart space. Betrayal. They had their own version. <clears throat> they had their own idea of what happened here. But it's sitting on your Ten of Wands. So again, somebody walking toward you, revealing this new idea, this birth of a new idea, possibly what happened, and it allows you to lay down those burdens and walk away, walk away from that and end it finalize it close it out uh done deal done dollar love it you know what why did i just do that i want that there and that there because 
That's you walking away. <clears throat> and then Knight of Swords. Wow, look at this. There's that fast incoming message, that clarity, that piece of truth, that thread that holds it all together, that binds it all together. It's like the the cheese on the pizza that holds it all together. It just really fills in the holes of the story that you've been missing that you couldn't um, tap into. Maybe you weren't there for that. Maybe somebody stayed in the room and heard more of the conversation or um, they just said they, they absolutely have a different perspective on it. I absolutely do. Three of Pentacles, something at the workplace, maybe working together or a family unit or um, something where people are very much a unit here working together on, uh, on things, on tasks. Mm, could have been a workplace thing. Could have been something that happened a long time ago and maybe you were fired and you never knew why. And all of a sudden you, you meet this coworker from, you know, years ago, years and years ago. And they tell you, yeah, the, the manager was uh, getting divorced at this time or whatever. And you realize, oh my God, that didn't have anything to do with me. You mean I've been carrying this around my entire life? I've been judging my decisions, my, my uh, going against my gut because of a misunderstanding. It's like it was a threes company moment where it was just all a misunderstanding. <laughs> It clears away so much. It clears away so much. It's like a major aha moment. Foundation, foundation. Oh, look at that death and rebirth for you, Sagittarius. I love that because you are exhausted. You've got to let this go. You need clarity on this. And uh, it just comes to you out of the blue. But this is a major, major new cycle for you. A major breakthrough. A major breakthrough. An aha moment. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles and the lovers. Look at that. Look at that. You finally get a grip on it. You finally make the decision to trust yourself again and that sometimes things just happen uh, be way beyond our control, that we don't always have all of the facts and we don't always have all of the perspectives. And sometimes it does feel um, exaggerated when we look back, when we peek back, it can feel very, very exaggerated. You see the full moon there and the full moon, you have the moon here. So things got exaggerated, maybe by you, maybe by others. It doesn't matter because there's some other perspective coming into the mix that really brings you some clarity and it brings it back into perspective. It brings that game of telephone. It, it's a hang up on that game of telephone because you have all the facts. So there's no guessing. There's no more guesswork on your part. Definitely has to do with the decision looks like it was about somewhere in the workplace in your past looking back at it and um you're birthing this brand new idea about it you're really gaining this new perspective about it it's one of those moments in our lives where you're like oh my god i just didn't know that it just brings you so much clarity on a situation or a feeling about poverty about lack about your abilities about um the way you feel about money, the way you feel, it stems all the way back to the way you feel about money here. And that gets cleared up. It's like this eureka moment where there's just no stopping you. It's just no stopping you now when it comes to money because you feel so differently about it. You think very differently about it now too after this peek back. So, wow, this is huge. I'm loving this. I am loving this. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it here. But if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Sagittarius, I hope you have a fantastical week. Thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. And I will definitely, <clears throat> there I go, tune in soon. Hopefully I'll have my voice back. Bye, Sag.